What's happening guys? This is Miles from the High View Solutions team and I'm going to show you how to work with filters in Gmail. Filters are incredibly powerful and help you keep a clean and organized inbox. Uh, so for my example here, I'll click over my account and this is a common one that, that people use filters for. Uh, so you'll see here I have these emails from Better Cloud Monitor. This is a newsletter that I've subscribed to and my inbox is full of these emails, these newsletters from Better Cloud Monitor. What I'm going to do here is create a filter uh, so anytime I get a email from uh, Better Cloud, uh, it's going to automatically archive and apply a label. So I'll be able to find it on the left hand side, um, but it won't be cluttering my, my inbox anymore. So in this case, I'll click into an individual note and I'm going to copy the from address that the newsletter is sent from. And I'm going to use my search guide here. And you'll see here, as I type in monitor at bettercloud.com uh, with the from operator as a preface, it returns all emails from Better Cloud Monitor. So this is perfect. This is exactly what I want to filter out. Go ahead and select create filter with this search. And then now I'm going to go ahead and click skip the inbox, archive it. I'm going to apply a label. In this case, I'm going to choose a new label, Better Cloud Newsletter, for instance. I'll go ahead and create that. And then I also want to apply this rule, this filter, retroactively to everything in my inbox. So I'll go ahead and select that and click Create Filter. Now, my inbox um, has been stripped of all those Better Cloud Monitor uh, newsletters. It's much more easy for me to see what's important. And then at any point, if I want to check out uh, the previous Better Cloud Monitor newsletters that I've received or the, the future ones, I can go ahead and, and click in here. Um, they will never again come to my inbox, but are always accessible through this navigation uh, label link. Over in settings, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the gear icon here. If I select filter and blocked addresses from the top, I could actually edit my filter or delete it entirely. I wanted to point this out because it might happen where you accidentally create a filter. So make sure you go in here and and uh, check out to see what filters you've, you've set up because uh, they will apply universally to, to your account. Thanks for watching.